Hey guys, in this video we're going through chapter 4 on exponential and logarithmic functions and in this video we're going through a problem in section 3 on logarithmic functions. Uh, we're doing number 41 which says use the definition of natural logarithms to simplify. So first off, what's the definition of natural logarithms? The definition of natural logarithms says that y equals the natural log of x is the same thing as saying e to the y equals x. So this is what we're going to be using. Now looking over at this problem here, we notice that we want to simplify this whole expression, e to the natural log of 10.125 plus 4. This plus 4, we're going to ignore for a little bit because that's not the part that we want to simplify. It's as simplified as it can be. We are going to simplify this e to the natural log portion of it. Now to focus on this, I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call it x. So I say x equals e to the natural log of 10.125. Cool, so now we have that. And what we're going to do is we're going to translate um, this statement through these statements so that we get a number um, that can combine with 4 more easily. So when we look at our equations, we have an e to a power equals x, which is similar to this one right here. So if we look at that, we have our x, we have our e, so that leaves this portion as our y. So we can say y equals the natural log of 10.125. Now, we can use the second portion of this uh, definition of natural logarithms, which says y equals the natural log of x from this equation. So we have this from using this equation, and now we're going to write y equals the natural log of x. Now what we can do is we can set these two equal to each other since they're both y. So we get the natural log of 10.125 equals the natural log of x. And we notice that we have natural logs in front of both of them, so we can cancel them out. And then we get x equals 10.125. Great, we've found x. Now we need to go back and plug it into the equation. So we have this x gets plugged in here, so we're looking for to simplify x plus 4. When we plug in x, we get 10.125 plus 4, or 14.125, and that's our answer. I hope you found this video really helpful. Uh, the concepts we covered in this video are true no matter what pre-calculus class you take, and the examples I cover are from this textbook right here. And remember, if you're a Baylor student currently enrolled, there is free tutoring on the first floor of Sidrich. You can create a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or drop in anytime during our business hours. Please visit our website, www.baylor.edu tutoring, for more details. Sick and bears.